Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're exploring a fantastic new feature in Adobe Photoshop, the Lens Blur Filter. This tool is perfect for adding depth and focus to your images, creating stunning effects that can make your photos stand out. So, let's jump right in and see what it's all about. The Lens Blur Filter in Adobe Photoshop is designed to simulate the effects of a shallow depth of field. This means you can blur parts of your image to draw attention to a specific subject, just like you would with a high-quality camera lens. By the way, the Lens Blur filter is also available in Lightroom Classic. And there are some presets already available as shown here. First, let's take a look at how to apply the Lens Blur filter. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Select Duplicate Layer, then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, then here on the right side, click on Lens Blur. Then click Apply. The software will then analyze and create a depth map of the image. We can then adjust the blur amount by moving this slider right here. We can also choose the type of bokeh that we want. There is circle, bubble, five blade, ring, and cat eye. This bokeh boost slider is for adjusting the brightness of out-of-focus light sources. The focus range adjusts the range of depth values that are in focus. You have the option to select subject focus or point area focus. We can enable visual depth to have a visual representation of in focus and out-of-focus area. The yellow represents the area in focus, while purple represents the area that is out of focus. The orange, red, and pink colors are somewhere in between. The refinement section allows us to manually brush certain parts of the image that we need to be in focus or out of focus. Let's zoom in on the image. As you can see, the horse's ears are blurred out, so we need to click on the focus icon right here and start painting on the horse's ears like so. You can press the Alt key to paint back the blurred area. Okay, I think that should do it. So this is the before, this is after. Before, after. What do you think about this lens blur filter? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Let's proceed with the second example. Again, we duplicate the layer, then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Then go to Lens Blur and click Apply. We can drag the left and right edges of the focus range to increase the depth of field or the area in focus. Then we can slide it left to right to define the range. Let's zoom in on the image. As you can see, the subject's hair got blurred out. Let's enable Visualize Depth. Then we zoom out, go to the Refinement section, click the Blur icon, and then paint on the areas that we want to blur out, such as these trees behind. Then we click on the focus icon and paint on the subject's hair. Let's turn off Visualize Depth and then zoom in so we can see it better. Please note that for this example, I'm just doing it quickly and roughly, but when doing your own edits, make sure to take your time and be more precise. And to finish it off, I'll increase the blur amount some more. So this is the before, this is after. Before, after. This technology is very good. This could potentially replace fast prime lenses with very wide apertures. Do you agree? And for our third and last example, let's use this image. The same process applies, so I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. I'll increase the blur amount to about 60. Same goes for bokeh boost. Then enable visualize depth to check the depth map. Okay, that looks good. For this image, I don't think we need any refinement, so let's exit this window. And this is the new lens blur filter in Adobe Camera Raw. Again, this feature is now available in Lightroom Classic as well, so go ahead and give it a try. The lens blur filter is great for portrait photography to enhance your subject by blurring the background, making them pop. It is also great for creative effects to add artistic blur to parts of your image to guide the viewer's eye and create a unique composition. While the lens blur filter is incredibly powerful, there are a few things to keep in mind. Overuse. Too much blur can make your image look unnatural. Always aim for a subtle effect that enhances rather than overwhelms. Edge halos. Be careful around edges, as sometimes the blur can create halos or unnatural transitions. Use masks and refine edges to avoid this. Performance. Applying the lens blur filter can be resource intensive, especially on large images. Make sure your computer can handle it to avoid slowdowns. And there you have it, a quick overview of the new Lens Blur Filter in Adobe Photoshop. It's a powerful tool that, when used correctly, can take your images to the next level. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.